Hey, this is Kevin Somerson. And I'm Dante Sanders. And we're in a city, and we're about to go against the clock for a fact. It's going to take us 10 minutes. Never did a track in 10 minutes before. I did a track in 24 hours, but never 10 minutes. So, uh, we, you know, we're a bit excited about the opportunity here and see if we can make it happen. Uh, the vibe will be in a city, in a city sound, because we're in a city, and who can do it better? All right, so let's do this. Uh, maybe we should start with something like this. Oh, no, nah, that's good life. Let's, uh, how about, how about this? Uh, nope, that's the sound. Dantes, you, uh, you start with the drums first, then I'll think of something. Yeah, I got that. All right. 
No, to keep them both together. Keep them both together. Let's see what it sounds like. Bring it back in quicker. Yeah. Right. Any time for a ghost kick or no? Yeah, I already can. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Do another drop out with take the bass out. And the drums. Maybe with the percussion. City sound in the percussion. Can you put any, can you, any effect we can put on that? Make it, uh, we were doing something earlier, you know, in the studio. Uh, that sound or what? For the inner city sound. You're you, you messing with the, uh, the effect, the kind of modulation on it. Got any, see if you can find that. Uh, that'd be good to put right here in this section. I had something up earlier.
Is this still the pad? Is this drums? Okay. Alright, well, I guess that's it. We out of time. Cut! Alright. Well, we got a track. It's a start. We did it in 10 minutes. It's not complete, complete, but that's like some of the essentials of getting a track going. Because once you get a track going, you don't know what direction you're going to take it in. And it can go fast. It can be take take a long time at the same time. You get more ideas out of this whole thing. It could spark off. I was recording an inner city song years ago, a long time ago, I don't know, 20 years ago. And we, we had the studio rent it. Uh, the record company put us in there, we recorded. It was, uh, it was actually a cover version, it's called uh, Back Together Again. I did, you know, this, this some outstanding mixes and dub mixes, and they said, afterwards they said, uh, man, okay, it, it, you, you're done, but you still got a couple of hours left a time if you want to do another mix or work on something. I was like, yeah. They popped a synthesizer out for me uh, and a, a couple drum machines I, I called up and I created a track and it wasn't in 10 minutes, but it was about an hour. And it was, it was one of my most creative tracks ever created. It was called Anange. Um, and uh, it just, the vibe was just there. It was already just steaming. So the creativity just came out just like that. And that song was done, like I say, uh, it was less than two hours for sure. I mean, like, probably about an hour and something and changed. It was, I created all the main parts and then I did a vocal piece on it and then mixed it and it was done. We have been in this studio actually not too long. We've been in here, um, since uh, Corona hit, this is actually, we moved to this location. This is in Dante's house, actually. We moved it here because we wanted to keep it family, stay close to each other and still be able to work. And at the time, I didn't know if we were gonna be able to, how things were gonna pan out with us going different places. And I thought if I had to be here and I had to stay here for days, you know, we could work together and, and also be together. Uh, um, so it makes it special because it's, it's home. It's Dantes' home, but it's also a studio where we, where we work. And this is where it is set for now until uh, we get back to normal life as far as, you know, the pandemic. Essential elements, at least on my side, is just creating unique sounds from different synthesizers and different patches and different plugins that allow you to create. Uh, Dante's, you know, uh, yeah. I'm not sure about you. But. I mean, really, that, I just really did drums today, but really like 909, 808 type stuff, you know, your, your basic stuff, but it all sounds great uh, coming through machine, especially native instrument stuff and then uh, you know nice fat bass from it's a new one i got uh, avenger it's called avenger check it out what i think about the track that we just created i think the track is um I think it's cool. It's got a vibe, got some swing, got a little funk. It sounds inner city like, so you know, uh, you know that it, it relates to inner city. You know, now obviously we, you know, we do vocals, tracks, it's, you know, and write different melodies and all kind of stuff. But for for this short ten minutes, it does have some inner city flavor. I give advice to a startup producer to. You know, learn your tools and practice and, you know, get yourself in your world and sometimes you, you try to figure out how can I, how can I create what somebody else did is so amazing, how do they do that? Well, you know, you imitate somebody starting out. I don't mean you, when I say imitate them, try to sound, look at their format, how they mix, like how long, uh, how the structure of their production. Uh, um, I think that's, that's important because it gives you some sense of arrangement, uh, whether it's a radio mix or something a lot shorter or a, a, um, a 12 inch mix. Learn different arrangements. I think that's uh, important and that will help you 
in your editing and that process. And then you'll get ideas from that. You'll say, oh, I want to do it this way. That was cool, but I think this is cooler. 